All right, I wanted to make this educational video and it is meant for those individuals who still see cryptocurrencies in general still meant for the consumer market and which do not have a future in the corporate or the financial world. However, the reality is different and I just wanted to highlight it through this video. So we're going to begin with the comparison, the return on investment comparison between Bitcoin and gold. These are two asset classes and over here just want to remind the back in today when Bitcoin was introduced. It was not supposed to be an asset class. It was not regarded as an asset class, but very recently with the ETF, this, is, this has taken place. And that's why this comparison is important. Now, if I compare the ROI of the two, and if you see the graph starting from 2014, something started changing. And if we see the return on investment, the yellow line, the bright yellow line represent gold, which is a linear line compared to where Bitcoin is. So if you're somebody who had stacks of gold, you took some out of it and you invested it into Bitcoin. You made a sane move, despite that it was a gray channel back then. You made insane amount of returns over Bitcoin. And that is something which has pushed the financial market, the likes of MicroStrategy and ARK Invest, to go ahead, not only invest into Bitcoin, but also declare it as an ETF or an asset class of its own. And that's something which you have to understand from the perspective of why the world is invested investing into cryptocurrencies because it started with bitcoin and we are going to bring a few others into focus and it's a one trillion dollar market as of today now this is a good comparison and you can see that bitcoin is absolutely a winner compared to gold but what if we compare bitcoin with ethereum and that's important because in this video the other thing that we are going to talk about is ethereum and altcoins now while Bitcoin gave an insane amount of return, return on investment compared to gold, if we compare between Bitcoin and Ethereum, the winner is still Ethereum. And that's something huge. And that is huge. You have already seen the graph of how Bitcoin behaved compared to gold. And now look at the graph of how return on Ethereum would have been had you invested. Now, just want to highlight that while Bitcoin started diverging from gold return of investment in 2014, Ethereum entered into the market in 2017. And that's something which is going to be relevant as we move forward. So where do we move forward from here? This is the rainbow graph of Bitcoin. And I'm going to zoom in a bit, but just want to highlight that there have been three halving. The fourth halving is happening on April 19th. And is it a good time to invest? So if I zoom in a bit, you can see as of today, the Bitcoin, I believe it has touched 52,000 mark. And the trajectory tells us that this is still cheap for us to invest in because after it is going to be the whole phase post which it is going to become a bubble and the bubble may continue indefinitely until it bursts. So it's still a good amount of good, good time for somebody who wants to invest into cryptocurrencies to invest and go with Bitcoin. But whether you should go with Bitcoin or Ethereum because we just saw the graph of how Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin in terms of return on investment i want to bring in this graph of dominance in the market now this is a graph of top 10 other than stable coins mark uh, cryptocurrencies in the market and as you can see historically starting from 17 till 23 the yellow line the bright yellow at the bottom the larger area represent the btc volume the blue is the ethereum and then over here the third one is about bnb and others a very important thing which I want to highlight that in the bull run, we saw Ethereum taking up a large canvas, which means quite a good market share, somewhere around 25%. This continued. It never happened that after that, Ethereum died out. And as of today, even today, you can see Ethereum is holding somewhere around 22% of the market. There are two important things that I want to highlight here. As I'll talk about and I'll, I'll argue, Ethereum will continue to dominate the market and the return on investment will continue to happen. So I for one believe that Ethereum is still a better choice. And there is one other aspect that I want to highlight that for the first time, we are very close that Solana might beat Binance chain uh, from a market share or dominance perspective. And that's going to be a major event because Solana was based in as an ethereum killer so keep a close eye on the altcoins which are coming in the space of solana as well other than ethereum the other thing which i want to talk about from the perspective of how ethereum is going to perform compared to bitcoin this is the the graph of flipping and flipping just in case you're not familiar it talks about a hypothetical moment because it has not happened where ethereum actually takes over the bitcoin now as of 100 percent they both share the same market capitalization however 
the market cap is being considered based upon the flipping and i want to point out that from the transaction count as well as transaction volume perspective we're pretty much already there uh, ethereum has already taken over sort of but it's the volume which is going to make the huge difference uh, active space addresses i don't find this lot important but trading volume is important overall we're standing somewhere around 39 percent 32 percent but i think one of the key thing which is going to happen in 2024 if the etf of ethereum gets approved this is going definitely going to flip the market if not going to flip the market it's going to come very close to bitcoin dominance share the other thing that i want to talk about is where to move forward from here so as of today in april 24 in february 24 we can see that on the left hand side this is the bitcoin month on the right hand side this is the altcoin month pretty much we are still in the bitcoin month both from a month perspective as well as so i'm gonna go down and uh, clean up it this a bit uh, you can see that we were there in the altcoin space somewhere in november but we are now in the bitcoin arena and as you can see that bitcoin has already touched base 52,000. but simultaneously ethereum has just 2800 and what's what's the implication of that are going to be that in the altcoin space we're somewhere in the middle and my guess is that if we look at this graph my proposition or my hypothesis is that starting from 15th february till 15th of march we are going to move back to the altcoin season because this push of bitcoin is going to drive ethereum and this ethereum with its dominant with its dominance in the market along with solana and other chains it's going to push the market and we are going to see the altcoin season so starting somewhere between the mid of march all the way till happening which is on 19th of april we would see altcoin season taking over so pretty neat time for anybody who still wants to invest in the market and in hindsight let's relook this whole thing on 15th of march when i'm projecting that we are going to be in the altcoin space thank you